Hi, I'm Katie Yale, Editor-in-Chief of Interiors and Sources and architect and building expert for uh, buildings. Now we just wanted to congratulate you all for not only making it through this last election cycle for the midterms, but also coming off the heels of another time change. Especially for your parents, we know your children did not get the memo this week. So just for you, we are going to read one of our favorites today as a bedtime story. Of course, you don't have to have children and you don't have to be a child to appreciate this. We just want to give to you this storytelling time. Now, the book we've chosen to read is The World is Not a Rectangle, a portrait of architect Zaha Hadid. Now, for all you kids out there, is there anyone who knows who Dame Zaha Hadid is? Raise your hand high. Well, this one is, this book is by Jeanette Winter, and I, we are going to learn all about the Dame. The World is Not a Rectangle, a portrait of architect Zaha Hadid by Jeanette Winter. In Iraq, rivers flow through green marshes. Wind swoops across sand dunes and through ancient cities. Zaha Hadid sees rivers and marshes and dunes and ruins with her father and imagines what cities looked like thousands of years ago. In Baghdad, where Zaha lives with her family, she dreams of designing her own cities. Zaha looks long and hard at patterns in her Persian carpet and sees how the shapes and colors flow into each other, like the dunes and rivers and marshes. Zaha has, has ideas. She designs clothes for herself she arranges her furniture. She loves her mirror because the corners aren't square. There are no corners in the dunes or rivers or marshes. Zaha is Muslim who attends a Catholic school and loves math and still thinks about ancient ruins. She leaves home to learn more about cities and how to build them. She has ideas. In London, Zaha studies to be an architect. She fills notebooks with plans and designs. She makes paintings of the cities she sees in her minds. Zaha graduates with honors, rents a room in an old school building, and opens her own office, Studio 9. A few friends join her. They all work hard, night and day, making drawings and plans. We never slept. That sounds pretty miserable, huh? But it all works out. Zaha's designs don't look like other designs. Her buildings swoosh and zoom and flow and fly. The world is not a rectangle. No one wants to build her unusual designs. They say they can't be built, but Zaha knows they can. So she enters competition after competition, hoping to win, hoping someone will be brave enough to build them. Finally, one of Zaha's designs is chosen. The architect judges think her plan is best. But 
The city committee doesn't like it and won't build it. They hold another competition, her design wins again, and still they refuse. She's an Arab. This can't be built. Impossible. She's a woman. Hadid means iron in Arabic, and Zaha is strong as iron. She keeps working, one plan after another. I made a conscious decision not to stop. Zaha remembers the grasses and the marshes swaying and sees tall buildings dancing like grass. Zaha remembers the wind in the dunes and feels it blowing over and around and through her desert building. Zaha looks at shells and cradles her stadium like a cocoon. Zaha looks at stones in a stream and builds an opera house like the pebbles in the water. Inside the opera house, a singer is the pearl in the oyster shell. Zaha looks up at the stars and galaxies and sees swirling buildings. Zaha looks at waves and sees a bridge that moves with the water. Zaha looks at the Alps and builds a museum inside a mountain peak with windows to see the sky and the valleys. Zaha's ski jump reaches to the sky like the mountains. Zaha thinks of the jungle and the ancient wood temples and builds a wooden building to remember a faraway war. One by one, Zaha's designs become buildings all over the world. We do this so you can be in a simple place and feel good. Zaha is so busy now that every room in the old school building is filled. Over 400 architects work in, in these rooms, designing, planning, engineering, and making models of Zaha's vis visions. You should do what you like. Zaha designs a dollhouse and shoes and chairs. She designs a, st a stalactite sculpture and an iceberg seat. I can't stop thinking. Sometimes when she is working, Zaha's early memories return. The beauty of the landscape, where sand, water, reeds, birds, buildings, and people all somehow flow together, has never left me. I still believe in the impossible. Then one night, the light in Zaha's window goes dark. She has left this world. But her architects keep their lights on, designing, planning, engineering, and making models of her visions keeping her, flays, her flame blazing bright. 
even though Zaha is gone. Thank you so much for joining us for this bedtime story today. And if there are any other design books that you love to read, we'd love to hear all about it. We'd also love to see any of your drawings that you are working on, both children and adults. So please let us know. And until next time, have a great night.